Deer, Elijah, and Elena. Southern hospitality is dead. Now, I know you're thinking, what in the world is Southern hospitality? Because by the time you watch this video, um, you all will be what, late teens, so this will probably be in the 2030s or something like that. Uh, if that's if YouTube and all of that is still around. So you'll probably never hear those words ever again. So you really will probably be thinking, what in the world is Southern hospitality? Now, Southern hospitality used to be a big thing, uh, probably more so when I was a kid. So this is the 20th century, 80s, 90s, maybe early 2000s, early 21st century, where um, in the Southeast, we would say, you know, it's supposed to be considered the Bible Belt, even though we hadn't, uh, a lot of us so-called Christians down here didn't always practiced it um, uh, biblically. Uh, and that goes around the world. That's, you know, just a part of our uh, struggles in our religion. Um, but it used to be a big thing to say, yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. No, sir. No, ma'am. Excuse me. Uh, we'll smile on our face. Sweet tea. Give you sweet tea. All that stuff. Wave from the front porch. All that good stuff. Everybody knew each other. Times change. Okay. And with the change of times, change uh, that brings a change of morals. That brings a change of uh, social behavior. And uh, the older you get, hopefully you always have a love for people. But uh, if you ever become like daddy, daddy's working um, in a store uh, that will go unnamed and in the southeast. And you just start realizing just how rude people are. And uh, so it's kind of one of those things where it's just very, very disappointing that. And not because of the southern thing, but just we live in a world where people are more and more rude. Just real talk. So another question may be, well, Dad, why would you teach us to be hospitable to others if they're not really being hospitable to us? I'm glad you asked that question. The reason I want you all to still be hospitable uh, and because it, it, I want it to be, for, I hope it will be for you all. It's not easy for everyone. Uh, it's not always easy for me. But being hospitable to others is kind of, in my opinion, being is an extension of being loving to others. And being that your father's religious, I believe in Jesus the Christ, and I believe Jesus would have us be loving to all people, no matter uh, shape, size, skin color, race, uh, I just said skin color, religion, um, financial status, social status, what have you. To be loving and, and um, patient and understanding with all people. Now, daddy hasn't always been the most loving person. I'm not always the most patient person because you too will um, will see that. Um, so I'm imperfect, but the goal is is still to be loving, in spite of um, others' fa faults and failures. So even though Southern hospitality is dead, I want it Southern hospitality or hospitality to be loving in you all because I want you all to give people the love of Jesus. Something to think about. Thank you for checking out the Operation Fatherhood channel. Hit that subscribe button for me. Like and share because we want to continue to be a blessing to other fathers and other young people everywhere. Peace.